Alrighty. Let's try out uh, Maximum Extinction. The first one didn't really hit me too bad, but uh, let's see if the second one's better. Also, I was looking at the prices, and I think I overspent. Because <laughs> I think it was like $3 for uh, Nexamon, and like 7 for Extinction, but it was 15 for both, so I... Uh, I got schooled on that, but anyway, I should have just bought them separately. Sometimes they get you with that, and I just wasn't paying attention. Oh well, they're smaller developers, and a couple extra dollars. And Nexamon. Together, we have thrived for many generations. Together, we have risen against. They fixed their scrolling. This world is built over millennia of friendship, loyalty, and love. Hmm. And that is what fools like to believe. In times immemorial, the Nexamon had a merciless king. Omnicron was his accursed name. This monstrosity led his brethren into a grand crusade against all of men. Now, all I played of the first Nexamon was like what I streamed. The uh, recorded, I should say. Tried to eradicate us so not much. Oblivion. But we stood strong, and a group of brave heroes found a way to outsmart Omnicron by taming his own children and turning them against himself. We were able to slay the king of monsters and defy the wheel of Victory was at our grasp. Omnicron's legacy is now barren. Nothing but a sad whisper in the wind. So I guess you beat it? Finally free from his shackles, the Nexamon had become our companions for life. Our world, our people, and our future were set towards a bright tomorrow. But that day never came. For the true age of extinction has just begun. They just have you select right from the get-go, huh? Go just default email. That is kind of funny. Well, <laughs> still not a fan of the sound effects. Why does it start you off of being like the bad guy? <laughs> I 
I do kind of want to see what he, what the hell leads up to that. What now? little menu now. It doesn't seem to have like cross game cross-game compatibility. Uh, the graphics do look a little better. Still 2D. I don't know what trickery they was using for the uh, trailer. Gonna take all your shit. Oh, B button runs. Something you have to unlock in Pokemon games. <laughs> Pickaxe, huh? That is. I 
Okay, I was gonna say, it's giving me a little too much freedom in the beginning here. You need to kind of lock me down a little bit. Okay, okay. I just wanted to see how far I could travel in any direction. I know, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just checking you all out. Well, that's interesting. Well, this one's starting out like way crazier. I kind of, I'm kind of liking it. Oh goodness. Um. I'm gonna have this page open. Okay, uh, let me just see if I can't find, I, I, the list isn't, the, the list for Next Among Extinction is definitely different than the other one, it's a little bit harder to find these. Let me look for the cat one. That, that seems like Lume, okay.
She is, it seems to start with Dinja. Or it seems to start with Lume. Yeah, it starts with Dinja. I don't see Dayam. Okay. This one has a cool form. <laughs> His second form is even a uh, Marasuma. I'm gonna go with this one. Uh, maybe, hold on, what's... The wind cat one. Eh. Yeah, this one. Yeah, Mara. Even has a lot of my names on there. <laughs> or part of it. The final form is actually kind of cool. Yeah, let's do like a level 1 against a 99. Let's do that. different UI. Yeah, what if the cat is evil? And then, like, pin the blame on me. I actually don't know, but if that actually is a thing and I called it, then I called it because I know nothing of this story. But if that's real, then I called it. The fact that I got that option right there.
<laughs> I think this one has a little bit better charm than the first one. The first one, I, I don't know. It, it felt like it had a really strained budget. <laughs> like all of it went to the animations. It felt like they really tried, but like the sound, like I would have changed the sound effects one. The sound effects grading is all hell. Oh, it's her from the first game. Oh, so this is, um, I know the one in the wheelchair. Um, yeah, so this is like years after then. Wait, is that my character from the first game? Because I, I think I chose that avatar. If it is actually reading the save file. Like hers older, like my, my character. Okay. <laughs> this world of yours is horrible, disgusting, burning, depressing, broken. Yep. that you're trying to skip this tutorial. Wow. You gotta press both of them? Oh. Okay, that's cool. Huh? I don't know if I'm going to like that much, but then again, it adds to it, I suppose. That's interesting. Oh yeah, and it has this screen. The first one didn't have the screen. That was very annoying. It's like, it didn't give you the description of the thing that you caught. When you caught it, it was so dumb. It's like, that's bit of staple of every Pokemon game ever. If you're gonna ape something, ape that, please. Um, and they did. On the second one. Because you want to know, like, that's the whole thing. It's like, you capture the Pokemon and you'd be like, oh, what's its name? Like, what, what what's, like, the cool details about it? If they do a third one, if there, if there already isn't, like, make it talk. You know, it's not, there's not a single Pokemon game where it voices the description like it does in the anime. When Ash, like, does the little thing and you, like, not a single Pokemon game does that. 
if you're gonna do a 3d nexamon thing but then when you capture it with the photo it basically does a google lens and being like oh i detected this this is like what we know of the creature here's what it's likes and dislikes here's like the history of it here's like the thing right and have it talk have it feel like you actually have a smart device on you This is a little different than holding down B, huh? Pickaxe. I'm, I'm assuming I have that much. Okay. Yeah, instead of, like, this is a, a known thing. Instead of going to California during the gold rush to search for gold, the thing that you would really want to do is to go to California to sell pickaxes. <laughs> or gold pans. Or jeans. Those are the people that really made the money. So you can just always see where they are, but they do move. those do. Huh? The 
how's that supposed to do? Yeah, this is like way better than the first one. I, I, sorry to developers. Like, um, well, I guess that's not as sorry because that means like y'all really stepped up like your game from the first one. Like the first one, I only played like an hour of it. Like, I can't really, I can't really say much on it. Um. But because you're going to be doing like the same thing like a billion times in a row. Uh, and the story is kind of neither here nor there. Just what was on offer that I know that I was going to have to do for like the next, you know, 13 hours. Was just not as good as I was hoping. Wasn't bad. I wasn't having a bad time with it, right? Um, but there was just a whole bunch of like, you're, you're copying this one thing, but you're forgetting to copy a lot of the good parts sort of deal. And it happens a lot. Um, because like, you don't want to copy everything because then it just, it makes it seem like you're not, if you're going to put work into something, do it, do something on your own, like, which I get. But clearly this is Pokemon. You called your thing Nexomon, all right? And a lot of companies have tried to do things like, uh, what is it? There was that 3DS series, uh, Yokai Watch. Um, and that one apparently got really popular, but they never released any of this stuff over here or it was like late. I don't know. What is this? Anything shiny? Oh yeah, that's what I've been doing. But yeah. What am I doing here? Do I go upstairs? Uh, dragons only hurt tyrants. Oh, okay. Maybe it was coming after me, and that's why they they said that I should be destroyed. than me. trying to get poison to happen but that's not really doing it are you serious we're like one point away what what is this Oh. 
Copies 8% of the EXP received by other team members without having to fight. Cool. You can give EX, uh, EXP share individually. Oh, that's kind of neat. I was wondering what... They probably did it in the first game too, but I just didn't... Like, the UI just didn't really take me there. If that makes sense. What kind of faces? I'm still paralyzed. That's even worse than Pokemon. Is it a hundred percent? That's supposed to That's interesting. They're really wanting me to capture ghosts thing. That's a lot of tyrants. Skirty.
kind and gentle actions. Kind of want another move. I don't think you get experience for that. Where do I go to rest? Is there a healer in here somewhere? I don't know where to go to heal. Oh, okay. I forgot about you. There you go. Yeah, I'm probably not going to build a balance team. might have some implications later, I don't know. experience with that. I don't know what that does still. Where was I supposed to go? Did 
the lazy developers wiped out everything we have, huh? I had like more things. Seems being paralyzed is 100% effective as long as you're paralyzed. land without tyrant. <laughs> I don't have an idle animation. potions. about that. A healing thing. Found a donut. I mean, they're stingy on the healing. Well, also stingy on the experience. permission to use warp stones yet. It's 
Is this even the place where I'm supposed to be? and did a vacation. I thought they said something about the orphanage, but I went in there and I talked to people and I didn't see anything, so it's like... Okay. I'm literally not supposed to be there. Give, again, give me a little too much freedom. Like, early on, you need to lead me by the hand at least a little bit. Come on now. So who's Amalia? Stairs? I thought this was a window. That's stairs. Okay. I thought that was like a window or something. Or a melee. Interesting. Yeah, I'm liking this story a lot better. Clearly, like, I, I was kind of, like, a quick looked out by, like, 30 minutes or so. And I'm almost an hour into this one. And I'm still kind of into this story. never really use anti-paralysis thing because normally you can just kind of gun through it and only like 25% of your stuff or 30% of your stuff would generally get you know would be paralyzed but on here it's like no you're paralyzed for good <laughs> uh, but sometimes your Nexamon can dodge I don't even know what a tyrant is either. In the context of this game. <laughs> Make it seem like there's just hundreds of them running around. <laughs> the 
calling out Pokemon. Have I been getting new abilities at all? Okay, they gave me ST for stamina. So I know it gives me that. It might heal me too, I'm not sure. Oh, you mean like a government style thing can't afford to fix a bridge? Oh no. Again, fourth wall breaking. It's hard for me to get the, um, what's confusing me the most is the X and Y and A and B. Um, it's swapped on Nintendo consoles, and since I'm used to playing Pokemon on Nintendo consoles, I'm wanting to hit, like, when it says Y, I'm wanting to hit where the X button is. <laughs> and that's been, uh, yeah, even there, I, I press B to, like, send, and I was like, oh, I need to press the A button. So it's like, as I'm playing this game, I got Nintendo controls on my mind instead of Xbox.
We're doing an actual zoom out. Oh, that's cool. Well, a decently sized zoom out. I would have liked more zoom out, but that's cool that it even zoomed out at all. Yeah, the core seemed pretty cool. Himalayan salt lamps. Oh, I guess it didn't count me going over. <laughs> they didn't expect me to go over to the vacation spot first. So it's like, oh, we're actually giving you a tutorial on how this works. <laughs> no, nobody knows. <laughs> That's just how that is. Why are all the shopkeeps like animals? Yeah, that checks out. Crafting or selling? Okay. Well, I'll sell a couple, but that's all I was going to do there. I'll, I, I want to hoard them for a little bit. Goodness. Hell yeah, I'll do that. Let's 
the fuck are you people fighting against? <laughs> Workout. Causes your team to restore 3% stamina after each battle. This can be stacked. Oh well, dang, that's a good find. Oh, that's the same place for some reason. Okay. Really pushing that element thing. It doesn't really work in Pokemon. <laughs> it's mostly the move set's abilities, not your Pokemon's abilities. I mean, the stab gets you something, but does it really matter? Yeah, what is a tyrant? Fair enough. <laughs> Bronze Tamer. Um. When you get an item in an RPG, you have to put it over your head and show everyone. Come on, this is this is standard. Anyway, <laughs> the jokes are getting are, are pretty good. I will say, I am liking some of the jokes. Maybe I'm in a better mood. I don't know. <laughs> Client, huh? You work for people. Oh, I mean, it is a guild. Oh, that's interesting. You know, Pokemon never did that. I think that is interesting. It's like, okay, so you have this person that catches these, you know, Nexamon Pokemon, whatever. Um, and they're strong and they're powerful and they can do things. You would send them on quests. Does that mean, like, uh, reincarnated as a slime would count as this, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Five minutes.
Whoops. I was looking at her and not the options. Bitch, whine, moan. Bitch, whine, moan. Oh, is that a bicycle? Trying to level up my first mod. Sure. I don't know where the right click was. I'm just trying to really level up <laughs> this creature. Oh, come on, it's like level 10 now and it hasn't gotten anything. It's still the two moves. Hasn't like when does it level? Or evolve.
Well, it evolves from Marasuma at 32, but it doesn't. I, I need like another wiki. <laughs> a long time after the prior game. Fifteen. Had to go to Half Glass Gaming. I never heard of, but it has a list. Yeah, so it evolves at where must I level fifteen? Marasuma. Okay. Well, that's going to do it for me for now. Um, there's other stuff I want to do. But yeah, this is fun. You know, a lot more fun than, than I had in the first one. Like, more character interaction. Just seems like more stuff's going on. Um, better looking creatures. Just, just a step up of the game, really. Um. I don't know if I'll beat the first one. I might. If I'm bored enough, I may go play through the first one. Um, but the second one seems like a lot better. Doesn't feel rushed. The first ones just seem like an indie pet project. They probably just a couple devs that, hey, let's do a Pokemon game. Um, almost felt like RPG Maker. Uh, and sadly, if I had to say, like, uh, what is it, Pokemon uh, Uranium or whatever, uh, had way more content. <laughs> it's like, um, there, there's some Pokemon fan games that are insane. And uh, Pokemon Uranium is actually built on Unity, just like this was. For all I know, it could have been the same devs. But, um, yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't, if you told me that uranium, this was made by uranium people, it wouldn't surprise me. Any. It's like, hey, let's do like a non-Pokemon game where we can sell it. Um, I actually don't know that, so it's like, if that is the case, then like, I just wouldn't surprise me. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.